So each one is a different aspect of it. So one's, uh, the first one I did is, is George Washington Carver, which is what the school's named after. And uh, it was uh, dealing mostly with science, um, agricultural, because that's what he was known for. And then the second one, it's the first woman astronaut, and then the first uh, African-American woman astronaut. And uh, that was mainly the focus is aviation. So it was, you know, three different women that were aviators. And then the one that I'm working on this year is again back to science and, uh, and it has three scientists. So there's uh, um, Albert Einstein in the center and then in the background it has equations. Um, and then to one side it's uh, Alexander Graham Bell and then off to the side shows telephone poles and his first model of the telephone that he made. And then on the other side, you have to look this up too because I forgot this guy's name. He was a he was a scientist from I think like the 60s. Once I got into art through graffiti, I started taking art classes and stuff like that. And uh, when I graduated from high school, and I uh, I started trying to do gallery shows and stuff like that, and and then I was doing like faux painting and all like a like a traditional like uh, decorative art mm -hmm. and it just kind of I learned you know more traditional art that way and then it uh, kind of evolved into coming back to what I started with which is you know large-scale murals obviously we see a lot of green in South Florida right um, what, why do you think murals are important putting artwork in public spaces makes you know art for everyone you know people that that just don't know about it or don't really care about it. But then, you know, seeing it in the space where they're going to be anyway, it gives an impact. 